Hello everyone and welcome back to The Wrench and Fool. In this video we're here in my 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5 and in this video we're going to be talking about battery preconditioning. Now my Ioniq 5 is an early production limited all-wheel drive model. So it was built with the hardware for battery preconditioning but for some reason it was not released with the software for it even though it was advertised to have done so. In December of 2022 Hyundai released a software update to enable the battery preconditioning on this vehicle and the other early build uh, 2022 all-wheel drive models with the heat pump. My vehicle went in in the beginning of February, had that software installed, but I was one of the fortunate folks who got the incorrect software from Hyundai due to a miscommunication. I've done videos on both of those subjects if you have not watched them. Uh, I would suggest doing so. I'll leave a link down in the video description. Anyway, in this video, we now have functioning battery preconditioning. Hopefully, we're going to try it out, see if it works. I'm going to show you how to get it started, and then we're going to talk about uh, what exactly is battery preconditioning and how does it work. So let's get started. So in order to use the vehicle's pre battery preconditioning, we need to use the vehicle's navigation system to find our way and navigate to a DC fast charger. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. First, we can just hit the nav button, go into the navigation screen, pick point of interest categories, EV charging stations. It's currently set for near current location. So we have different charging locations that are near our current location. I'm not going to show those because I don't want to show where I live. The other option, if we go from the home screen, is to go to EV settings. And we can choose from here a list of EV chargers. If we click right on here, it'll give us that same list of EV charging stations that are near us. If you are navigating to a different location, like to a specific destination, and you're wanting to find uh, charging options either along your route or near your destination, you can choose those settings from over here. In this case, we're just going to pick one that's near our current location. So I'm just gonna pick one now. It's an Electrify America station. And then we need to set that as our destination. Again, I'm not going to show you exactly where it's at, but we'll just click set destination down here in the corner and it will calculate our route to that DC fast charger. And now about a minute later, we can see the sign down there, battery conditioning for optimal DC charging. So that means it's now heating the battery. We can see that it's drawing 4.4 kilowatts for battery care to heat up the battery. And we can see on the OBD data that the, uh, the battery heater temperature is starting to climb up. So we're gonna sit here and wait and see how long does it take to warm up the battery to a decent temperature. So while the battery is warming up, let's talk about what is battery preconditioning and how exactly does it work, at least on the Ionic 5 and a lot of other vehicles like it. So battery preconditioning in a very uh, simple term is effectively uh, setting the battery temperature to whatever is optimal for charging the vehicle at a DC fast charger. Now on some vehicles that could include either heating up the battery as we're doing here on the Ionic 5, it could also include cooling down the battery and sort of pre-chilling the battery. So in order to perform battery preconditioning, the uh, Ionic 5 and many other vehicles make use of the vehicles and the battery's uh, thermal management system. In the case of the Ionic 5 and all of the other eGMP vehicles, as well as many other electric vehicles, there's essentially a large aluminum plate that sits at the bottom of the battery, and all of the battery cells are stacked on top of that aluminum plate. Now through that aluminum plate, there is a, a coolant, a liquid that is run through there, and that is what is used to either heat up or cool down the battery. The fluid is circulated through with a water pump and that, uh, that coolant loop is attached to a resistive heater, similar to what you would find in like an electric water heater or something like that. 
It's also attached to a chiller or a heat exchanger that is tied into the vehicle's air conditioning system. And that's what it uses to cool the battery down. Now, some of the vehicles have more complex iterations of this. For example, Tesla makes use of a, a very complicated uh, set of coolant loops in their vehicle where they can scavenge heat from the battery, or excuse me, from the motors, as well as the heat pump to heat up the battery that way. So that's a very simplified version of how battery conditioning works and how sort of thermal management works on the battery. If you'd like a more in-depth, deep dive into this, uh, let me know down, down in the comment section. I am happy to go into a deeper dive and go into some more technical details of how it works. All right, the battery conditioning just kicked off there. Looks like we're down to 29%. So let's head over to the Electrify America charging station and uh, see how we charge. Now, I've been having problems with these chargers here, so I don't know if the 143 kilowatts is limited by the car or the battery, or excuse me, the car or the charger, but uh, I'll sit here for a little bit and see if it charges any faster. We should be getting better speeds than this. So we just ticked over to 25 degrees battery minimum temperature, which is sort of the the magic number for the Ionic 5. When you, that's the temperature in which you pretty much will get maximum charging speed. And our charging speed didn't change. So I'm gonna say that this is charger limited, not vehicle limited. So both of the 350 kilowatt stations here seem to be broken. Surprise, surprise, broken Electrify America. But uh, I will retry this some other time when I have access to a different Electrify America. Uh, maybe when I do the 500 mile challenge, uh, now that we have uh, battery preconditioning. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.